Jerusalem. 
I will prepare a lamb for my anointed. I will cover his enemies with shame, but on him my crown shall shine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is coming. Blessed be our father who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure, that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven, so immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery. The plan he was pleased to decree in Christ. A plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time. To bring all things <coughs> upon him in, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the <coughs> Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is. Now and forever. Amen. Blessed be our Father who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. From St. Paul's letter to the Galatians. While we were not yet of age, we were like slaves, subordinated to the elements of the world. <coughs> but when the designated time had come, God sent his son. God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to deliver from the law those who were subjected to it so that we might receive our status as adopted sons. The proof that you are sons is the fact that God has sent forth into our heart the spirit of his son which cries out, Abba, Father. You are no longer a slave, but a son. And the fact that you are a son makes you an heir by God's design.
proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will come be blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant his for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Mea tuus vendet, qui te porta Christe, Et beata ubera, que te lacta verbum, dominum et salvador in mundi, alleluia. To Christ Emmanuel, whom the Virgin conceived and brought forth, let us give praise and pray to him. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You gave Mary the joy of motherhood. Give all parents true joy in their children. Kyrie eleison, King of peace. Your kingdom is one of justice and peace. Help us to seek the path <coughs> of peace. Kyrie eleison. You came to make the human race the holy people of God. Bring all nations to acknowledge the unifying bond of your love. Kyrie By your birth you strengthen family ties, help families to come to a greater love for one another. <coughs> you desire to be born into the days of time, grant that our departed brothers and sisters may be born into the day of eternity. <coughs> for St. Ignatius of Loyola Parish, for our Oblates friends, benefactors, and for vocation. <clears throat> and thanks to him for a successful fourth quarter campaign and trusting 2024 to our Nikki's care at SJR. Pater Noster, qui es in Sanctifice tu nomen tu, advenia regnum tu, fiat voluntas tua, sicud in celu et in terra, panem nostrum quotidianum, da nobis odie, et dimite nobis debita nostra, Sicud et nos dimidimus, debit oribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos amalo. O God, who through the 
Blessed Mary, bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, <coughs> grant, we pray, that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. 